Hey you guys, it's Reese from Espresso Tour, Connie Corso, and we're here with Katana and Morgan today. We're going into Petco. I thought we'd do a video about dog food and other things. So I thought we'd look up some dog food options today and see if we can find some toys for the dogs. I think Katana's enjoying this. Kaylee, come on. My daughter keeps finding she keeps finding toys, that's so all she's, she's really interested in. All right, come on, let's go. Let's follow. Kaylee. Morgan, Kaylee wants to look at toys. Let's play that game where whatever she touches will buy. Oh, let's God. just see what Katana will haul today. <laughs> if I can afford it. <laughs> If I can, are you going to touch something? She's like loving this. Oh, guys. Yeah, these are the chews that I was recommending. I think, okay, so the ones that I purchased were the Luma Bones. But they're very similar to like this dogwood. It's like this. Right? Yeah, yeah. We got some like this. We got the set. So you got some shape like that, but they were like this size. And then we got some that were shaped like, you know, tree barks. Um, these are actually made with real wood. But anyway, um, we got a set of three. We got them from um, Sam's Club. And it was a really good deal. And they're long lasting. They're safe. The best shoes I've ever bought. But we got the Luma Bones. But these look very... Very similar. Yeah, they last for a very long time. So Katana hasn't picked anything out thus far. Come on, Kaylee. Come on. All right. You know, I've never tried out the Chuck and Charles. Oh, these are awesome too. Um, these Jolly Balls are awesome. If you have a large breed with strong jaws and a tiny corso, these are very good balls. Oh, oh, she's smelling something. She's smelling something. I think it's an antler. Oh boy, Katana, a whole thirty-five dollars. You like it? She, yo, she wants it. Oh, she touched it. She wants it, Reese. We might have to get some donations for Katana's expensive taste. <laughs> she's got expensive taste. Oh, look at these beautiful collars. I love these collars. Like the leather and fabric, they're really nice and they last pretty long. Bro, I like the, what's it called? Like the Martingale. Martingale. Yeah, and so everybody wanted to know where I got Melina's collar from. I got it from here. It's a Martingale. It's actually that pink and purple one right there. Let's see if I can pick it up. So it's this one. And I actually purchased, um, every single color so you see like the red and blue the teal and blue the purple i, I purchased every color um i love them because they're very wide they're durable and i kind of prefer it when it comes to controlling my pet in public um the although it, it could be thicker. yeah there, there goes some skinnier martingales I really prefer, good price i prefer the thicker ones though yeah so i don't you know the easy walks are okay but i i think that you gain the most control out of your dog when they are on a choke collar like this comfort choke um or like a martingale um harnesses are a no-no um they actually encourage pulling and you have very little control of your dog when they're on a harness. So if you have a dog that pulls, um, if your dog has trachea issues, um, this is an excellent um, easy walk, no pull harness for dogs with um, trachea issues. But if your dog is perfectly healthy, I recommend the chain collar and a, the classic martingale. Even Katana agrees. When well, even she agrees. She has on a regular collar today. I have <laughs> different collars but as you see I prefer like the one and a half inch wides for my Kane Corso alright Kaylee come on 
Scoopers. Pooper scoopers. And this is what we recommend for our pooper scooper. Really like metal. These guys right here, they break pretty easy. The clamps, as far as, like, the clog dust. beds, guys, like we do the pinch test so if i can feel demonstrate the pinch test morgan on the dog beds so if i can feel my finger on the my thumb from the other side it ain't it it ain't it your corso's bones are heavy and so a lot of the times these beds in the pet stores you yeah. know they're not the best try that one this big black one that one looked like it it could be a good one no no it's not still not a good one you want the orthopedic one. The orthopedics, yeah. But not all orthopedics are created equal. Yeah, this one, it's a, it's a bit more durable. So that one will probably work. That's a no. That, that's a no. She said this one's a no. It's pretty, but it's a no. This one could... All right, so let's look at dog food. So you guys, we are very picky when it comes to dog food. Oh, and very quick. Very quick, get the metal bowls, the plastic bowls, hold more bacteria. When you get the metal ones, that's where it's at. That's where it's at. You can keep it sanitary and nice for your pets. If your pet is struggling from maybe um, puppy acne or adult acne, um, you need to switch out your bowls and do a stainless steel bowl. And I just pop them in the dishwasher. I rinse them, I pop them in a the dishwasher, I put it on the steam, and I sanitize it. Um, so we're going to talk about dog food and Morgan and I actually eight months ago went through this entire store and read every bag. Real talk. Real Let's talk. start. They well, these are any. like the prescription diets. Like I get it. If your dog has to be on a prescription diet. But, but like if they're, if they're fine, like don't. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's start with like, I guess the most popular. Let's go down. The Purina. Let's go down. Um, not the Purina. Um, let's go for like the premium, the premium, the premium, the premium. So, so we could do try a, the blue buffalo. Let's do the most popular, which I think would be, well, let's look at large breeds since we're talking about Connie Corso today. So let's talk Damn. about what we are looking for when we are picking out dog food for our large breed puppy. So here's a large breed puppy right here. This one is called oh, Nature's grain, Evolution, grain free, grain -free that, high protein. I hear grain free and that's a no for me. Yeah, usually the grain frees are a no. And so, so what do we have? Chicken, chicken meal, peas, peas protein, tapioca starch pea starch so all that is a no for me so what they're doing you guys in order to increase the protein levels they're adding the pea in to the dog food and so really all grain free is is they swap out the starch for something else and so um Usually in the grain free, you have potatoes as your starch, which this one you have tapioca starch, and, and, and they load it with peas so that um, it, it increases the protein levels in the dog food. So this would be a no because peas are associated with um, like, it what like, is that? What is something with the that, heart? It's that it's cardio like, like myopathy. I think it's um. It's C, C D H or oh, I don't know. Am I got I gotta look it up. But anyway, it, it causes the heart to enlarge, and so we stay away from peas. Okay. And look at so this. So this would be a no no. Plus, you look at the the protein, and this is thirty five percent protein. Way too much for a large breed puppy. You'll actually cause your puppy to bow over. And look, look at the potatoes and peas. That's a big no. Yeah, so we stay away from um, potatoes. Grain free. Yeah, usually grain free just doesn't matter. You want all the grains. This is you want all of it. Well, this one is good. It's gonna be on the side. So beef, turkey meals, potatoes, peas, pea starch, potato starch. See, I'm gonna stop right here because this is a 
no. That's so enough. we're gonna move away from. Um, if you if you get dog food for large breed, make sure it has rice in it. Or make let's, sure it doesn't say grain. Let's breed. go to the large breed puppy and Merrick. Let's see what they have. Do they have a large breed puppy? I see puppy large breed recipe. That's a dog. Puppy recipe, All which breeds. we have that 30% protein so for my puppies you guys i like to do about a, a 26 protein maybe 27 i don't like 30 um and i don't necessarily see i see an adult i see a puppy all breed okay let's look at this puppy all breed pull this oh here i think do they have one in the dream food puppy be all I think this is the same one. This is the same one. So pull that one. No, the second bag. That's small breed. The one beside it right here. Yeah. So here, let's see. You got beef, sweet potatoes, peas, lamb meal, potatoes, pea protein, pork fat. Yep. Natural flavor. I don't even know what that is. We don't know what the natural flavor is. So for me, this this one would be a no. Is most. I'm just gonna be honest. Most of the um, food in here, I think like 97% of it, I would say no. Yeah. Um, solid gold is a really good dog food, but for our grain breed, free. it's just way too high pro in protein. And it's grain free. Yeah. Well, but I don't think, I don't think the ingredients were actually too bad. So, cause I looked at the barking at the moon. Let's look at that. Beef ocean fish meal potato protein potatoes dried eggs chicken fat peas tomato pumice so the peas is further down in the ingredients list so this one actually has more meat based protein than let's, let's say blue, blue buffalo or the other um so if you prefer a grain-free diet for your dog because you don't want the rice the um the rice starch um then well carbohydrate carbohydrate um then this would be a good option because it's not relying on the peas but it's still in there just not as much let's go to yeah, taste, of the wild's good. taste of the wild if they remove the peas yeah so it's this so this is the most popular bag the yellow okay let's look at this yellow 32 percent protein yeah, buffalo, lamb meal, chicken meal, potatoes, peas, potatoes, chicken fat, egg. I mean, there's not a lot of, but it's still there. Yeah, I mean, the peas, it's very little, but it's still there. Still too high from what I would, for a large breed puppy. Haley's right here. Um, instincts. I think we checked this out. It had a lot of pee in it, too. I don't know what's up with all the food with the pee. Filler. But, it, yeah, yeah, it's just a filler way, a cheap way to add in the protein. A can a day. Morgan, let's look at this one. The can, can a day used to be an excellent brand. I used to use it back in the day. It used to be very reliable. Okay. So let's look at the yellow. And then we'll look at the multi, the multi protein formula. So, oh, chicken meal, brown rice, bright rice, rice bran, cracked pearl barley, peas, chicken fat, millet. This one's, this one's okay. And what's the phosphorus and the calcium, which is very important. Where would it be? It would be over here, but a lot of the times, you guys, they don't put that on the bag, and it's super important for a um, large breed puppy. Let's look at the multi, the multi protein, multi -breed. Chicken meal, turkey meal, lamb meal, brown rice, white rice, rice bran, peas, potatoes, oatmeal. Which isn't, it sounds it's a little bad. bit better. I mean, this sounds like- It sounds a little bit better than that. If, if the phosphorus, for the phosphorus, I like to be about 1.6. Um, I don't like it to be any higher than like 1.8. And the calcium on it, I like it to be. Oh God, no phosphorus! I'm sorry. 
talking about my butt, like a 1.0, and then my um, calcium, like a 1.2. Let's, let's get some katana action. Oh, katana. She's so happy. She's like, I got out of jail. I got out of jail. Aww. She's such a good puppy. I love her. Okay. So let's see what else they have in here. I think the rest is like cats. cat food. We can look at some shampoo products. Oh yeah, let's look at some shampoo products. So here's shampoos. That's good, right? I like the the oatmeal. The oh, they have lavender mint. So yeah, I used this John Paul when I was grooming, and it's excellent. Really like it. I love Earth Bath. That's my preference. Yeah. We use some shiny skin moisturized. And the conditioner, oh. Now they also have fragrance free, but. Earth Bath is, is amazing. Earth so Bath. these two brands oh. are really good. Price is really good. Now I, now I haven't tried Burt's Bees, but I've heard that it was okay. No, I, I didn't like Burt's Bees. But Earth Bath, JP. And JP, really two really good brands. Oh, and this one's actually good too. I've used fresh and fresh and clean. No, it's not fresh and clean. What am I thinking? I thought it was. Was it fresh and clean? No, it's not fresh and clean. It was an Arm and Hammer one. I thought it was the Arm and Hammer, but it's not. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Esprit. We use that a lot in grooming. But when I was grooming, I kind of preferred the Earth Bath over the Esprit. Okay, let's continue. Okay. Now, Dremel and Clippers. Now, Dremel's guy, Dremel, I prefer. Dremel's are good, but so the thing, the difference between them is that, so if you want to get it done quick, nail clippers. But the downside is that the dogs can feel the pressure when you clip them and it makes them more anxious. And there's always the chance that you're going to catch the quick. So if you're really good at it, you have patience nail clippers. And if the dog's nail is really long, I like to clip first a oh, little yeah. bit off, and then I like to take it down with the nail clip. Yep. I mean, with the grinder. Um, now this out of these grinders, see, I use the grinders, <laughs> the the tool, the Dremel tool, the Dremel brand that you can find at the do the hardware store. Uh, but these may be decent. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll. I mean, we haven't tried them out. Haven't like for um. The clippers, I like Miller's Forge. These are really good, strong clippers. They work, the orange. Oh yeah, I need one. They're really good. If you go on Amazon, a good brand is Safari. $19.99. I did not expect it. I'm gonna order it. I think I got mine off of Amazon and they were, they were cheaper. And if you do happen to quick your dog's nails, guys, get some quick stop, the blood stopper. See this stuff? This is what we use grooming, the Quick Stop Septic Powder. I think either brand would probably do, but the first aid for dogs Quick Stop brand is um, the Old Faithful. All right, continuing on. For those who wants to know what I do for um, Flea and Tick for my pack, I don't do any of these. I actually use an all natural spray that they sell at um, Walmart that has a peppermint in it. It's worked. I don't feel like I'm putting poison into my dog's system, which is no good for them. And even um, after you stop spraying them for a few days, it's on It's on them. It's on them. And so that something like this, like Trappy Clean's a good brand. So if you don't want to, you know, use, um, a topical this is excellent you can also go in chewy and order it too yep they have some this where's way. kaylee right here okay okay let's let katana see some ferrets i want to see how she reacts to some ferrets look katana look hey, a bird. look a bird. show her hey, a bird. Hey, a bird. let's look at the birds Nah, she's not interested in the ferrets. I know she smells them. The ferrets are interested though. Oops. Like, what's happening? 
They know. They know. Oh, she sees them now, but she doesn't care. The parakeets. I used to have parakeets. Cute birds. Yeah, my sister always used to air and have one in bubbles. Oh. Look at the trees you see when you have it. Well, anyway, guys, I think we're going to check out for the day. We're going to go back to the house and do a pack video, and I will see you guys Bye. later. Bye-bye. Ooh, wow. Who got it? Her mom. got it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, she stole it. I've never seen that. Never seen that. It's ruthless. You had it. That's ruthless. She you stole it. it. I've never seen that. It's like Kane oh Corso God. football with the frisbee. Throw it again. And now she prances around with the wind. 